somehow luckily the sample space is the same as we had done earlier that is tossing of the three coins so so this is our sample space now he gains rupees 2 for each head now x has changed from the number of heads to something else so so let us let us try to find out x h i should not have raised that so he gains how much 2 2 2 Six, x, h h t, four he gains and one point five he gives back. So two point five. X, h t h, again the same. X, t h h, again the same. X, t t h, loss. How much? X T H T minus one H T T minus one minus four point five sorry minus four point five hmm hmm kiski kiski Okay, thanks for correcting. Sorry for the mistake. Galatha. Okay. So, so what do we get? We get this. Hmm. Yeah. This is this is a real valued function. It is giving all the. Huh? This is a function first of all. That means each has got a unique. Unique value, okay. What is the definition for a function? That each all the elements should have a unique image. So all the elements should have image. They have, and the image should be unique. It should not be that okay he gains six or he may also gain five or or maybe two. Okay, it's absolutely defined. All have the image, so it is a function. The image is real number so it is a real valued function and that is what a what a random variable is it has to be a real valued function whose domain is whose domain is the sample space of the ex experiment random experiment okay it is called random variable just because it is the outcome of the values the outcome of a random experiment these are called random experiments okay <clears throat> even tossing a coin in probability is called an experiment okay till now we know that until unless there is a voltmeter ammeter kind of setup it is not an experiment but here it is okay hmm fine so we understand so you'll have to write why it is a Why it is random variable? Each element of sample space has a unique image. 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 And the range is a subset of real numbers this you should write in words real numbers because these two things very are very very important it is a real valued function real valued and it is a function two things first of all it should be a function and should be a real value so you'll have to show both there could be functions which are not real valued then it will not be a random variable you'll soon understand why because then we start operating with the random variable suppose suppose the outcome is a okay then you'll be absolutely stuck mm -hmm. okay done fine 